Hi everyone, Lori Whitlock here. In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly show you how to do a print and cut from a PNG file in Silhouette Studio. So I am going to use a PNG file that I got from a bundle from designbundles.net. Um, they have design packages filled with hundreds of dollars worth of design elements and helpful pieces and things that you can use, including PNG files and EPS files, JPEG files, brush files, different things that you can use for designing. And um, they work great in Silhouette Studio. So I wanted to show you how um, I'm going to take one of the PNGs from this little sweet summer set and bring it into Studio. So I'm just bringing it literally from the folder and dragging it into Studio. And you can see it's a cute little um, ice cream cone. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to trace it. So we're going to go to the little trace button up here on the top. And we're going to select the trace area. So I'm going to draw a box around that ice cream cone. You can see some little yellow lines that start to show up. First thing you're going to do is turn your high pass filter off and you're going to push your threshold all the way to the top and you can see how everything is turning yellow. That's exactly what you want. That's showing you exactly what will cut. And now if we click trace, it's going to trace both the outer edge and the little hole here. We're just going to choose trace the outer edge. We only want the outside of that whole piece. We don't need the little hole in the, the little cherry up here. So now we have this nice trace line and you can see it's separate from our graphic. I'm going to back up one step there, but I'm going to select our trace line. Make sure that's selected. I'm going to back up one step. So I know that I have that selected and I'm going to do an offset path on that. Um, so I'm going to choose my offset path up here at the top, offset window, choose offset. You can see how it's starting to create a little offset. It's still giving us some little lines here in between the top and the cone. So let's go ahead and increase that a little bit to maybe 0.25 inches and hit apply. And you can see that that got rid of all the funny little pieces in between. So now we have a nice offset of our ice cream cone. I'm going to delete that original trace. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong layer, so that's good for you to see that. Actually, we want to leave this in place and we want to grab just that traced piece and delete it. Okay, now we have our cute graphic with an offset path. I'm going to take the whole thing and select it, Command A, and just resize it to the size that I would like to cut it at. Now that you have your graphic resized to the size you would like to cut it at, we just need to turn on um, our registration marks and change our page size. So go to design page settings, it's a little icon at the top here, and let's change that to your printer, which is probably going to be eight and a half by 11. And then I'm gonna leave my cutting mat on Cameo, go over to your registration marks, the next tab over here, the next button over, and choose Cameo or whatever machine you have. That'll turn on your registration marks here in these three corners and it'll gray out some areas. So you need to keep your graphics out of that area and actually I need to pull mine down just a little bit. Um, so now you can see exactly where that ice cream cone is going to cut and you can go ahead and send that to the printer. So go ahead and hit print on your printer here. Send, oops, actually right here, the next button over. Sorry about that. Click on print and go ahead and send that to print and then you'll load your piece of paper or cardstock whatever you printed this on and load it on your cutting mat in this exact position and then you will go ahead and hit cut but since i'm not connected to my cameo right now it's telling me to go ahead and do that but you'll change your cut settings obviously to cardstock if that's what you printed on and then you'll send to silhouette and your machine will recognize those little registration marks here in the three corners and we'll cut out your little ice cream cone exactly in that position. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you check out some of the design bundles at designbundles.net. I'll put a link here in this video so that you can find those and have fun crafting. Have a good day. Bye-bye.